I was very interested in thinking about how we could teach um, about basic concepts in the biological sciences like symbiosis using the visual arts. Through this process, not only can the students learn some science along the way, but that scientists may be able to sort of see the systems they work on through a new lens or a different light. And the artists may sort of see a theme or um, a shape or get sort of a compelling um, method in which to sort of explore a whole new relationship that they never would have. This work in the gallery represents three classes that I taught this semester in the fall. It's um, 34 students all taking ceramics one. They spend three hours a week in the studio and one hour a week in lab uh, discussion. And uh, Dr. Gerardo gave a lecture explaining the symbiotic relationship that happens in biological forms. So I was encouraged to kind of think about the host and the symbiont, and so I kind of incorporated that with the, um, the lichen is both a symbiont to the bark, but it's also um, a host to the tree that grows up out of it. So the, this is a um, upside down jellyfish um, in which all the plankton are pulled inside to feed the jellyfish. So uh, again, it's a symbiont and a host. The host is the uh, jellyfish and the inside is, are the symbionts. And uh, she has made various plankton and um, other things that get caught up within the jellyfish to feed the jellyfish. Uh, this student went in a direction which just really surprised me. He chose the relationship between uh, reading and what goes on in the brain. So you see a book an emerging funnel shape of the letters, and this expression of the reader in which, as he explained, that when you're reading, you are so into yourself. So these eyes are not looking out, but really absorbed. Oftentimes we think of art and science being completely unrelated, and scientists are very pragmatic um, and have one hypothesis, and they test that hypothesis. Um, and artists are creative and are exploring in all directions. But honestly, both fields are fields of exploration and trying to understand the world around you better. Um, and so both fields can complement each other. And I think that um, through this process, not only can the students learn some science along the way, but that scientists may be able to sort of see the systems they work on through a new lens or a different light.